Hey everybody, welcome back to another tobacco first impression. And today's tobacco is Rattray's Black Mallory Tobacco. This is part of our March blends. Can you believe we're in March already? Golly, first quarter almost, almost upon us, or at least the completion of it is going to be upon us. Not too long. Uh, this is made in the EU by Rattray. Uh, makes one of my favorite blends, Old Gallery. Uh, this is a spicy Latakia and two differently cut Virginia tobaccos blended with black Cavendish and Oriental. So that kind of, uh, the whole idea of, of Cavendish in an English style blend it leads you to the, the Scottish blends, which this, for March, March is our Scottish blends month. Um, and that's kind of why you'll see a, an English style blend with Cavendish, sometimes Perique. Uh, but typically what makes it that Scottish is the Black Cavendish. So let's check and see if we got a good seal on this one. Good seal. All right. Hmm. Let's see how much is sticking to this insert. Oh, yeah. That right there kind of says it all. Um, you can see the different variation of Virginia. Got a little bit of bright, a little bit of nice dark. Yeah, there's a good amount in there. Now this is mostly going to be an English style, I'm kind of hoping, with, with some black Cavendish in there. And that's really going to give it kind of a sweet aromatic style with without that chemical burn unless they put a uh, some type of topping in there on there or some kind of casing so we're going to smoke this out of our missouri meerschaum my little stebby let's get a whiff in here definitely getting that ketchup smell from the virginia a little bit of lot of kia not much. Not much at all. Maybe a little sweetness from the Cavendish. Not sure how much they have in terms of Orientals. Black Cavendish, so special. Sp spicy Latakia. Two different cut Virginia tobaccos. I definitely saw those blending with black Cavendish and Oriental. I, I feel like there's more black Cavendish in here than there is Oriental. We will find out though. Probably pack that a little too tight. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Yes, if you're looking at blends that are not as robust as English blends, you might want to try Scottish blends. All right. Let's see what we're getting. Definitely getting the Virginia. There's there's some lot of key in there. Got to be careful. I'm starting to get a little tongue bite. Give this one at least 30 minutes to maybe an hour of drying time. That Cavendish is coming in there. It's coming in there strong with the uh, with the sweetness of it and the mellowness of it. it kind of gives you the mouthfeel of like honey. Getting the sweet Virginias. Almost like some honeyed bread. Not picking much up on the Orientals. There's a slight hint of sourness somewhere in there. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a bit. Of, almost makes me think of in, in Georgia we have what's called sourwood honey. And it's kind of complimenting the Cavendish. Not picking up too much of the Latakia. I can sense it's there. Just from a slight amount of smokiness. A little bit more on the retro helm. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. 
if you're looking to, to try to start getting into orientals, or if you're sensitive to orientals, this could be okay for you. If you're trying, if you're venturing out from aromatics and you want to keep some of that familiarity of aromatics, the black cavendish in this will definitely do that, though there's no casing or topping that I can tell of. I'm sure there's a casing, but there's no topping. There's absolutely a lot of cavendish though. I mean, it's, it's to the extent where, you know, it's borderline. If there was a vanilla topping, this would be just another aromatic to me. Yeah, I would I would have liked a little bit more Latakia. A little bit more Latakia. A little more Orientals. This by no means is a plum pudding. Uh, or anywhere close. As I said, this is more like smoking an aromatic without the without the topping. But there's some nice refreshing notes about it. Like to me this is definitely more of a probably a springtime blend. Which is one of the reasons why we smoke this as we're going into April, which is our our or our um Cavendish what is it? Not April. Is it April or May? May. May is the Cavendish. April is cigar leaf. There's some fun little nuances about it, but you're mostly going to get Virginia and Black Cavendish, just like, just like an aromatic. If all you smoke are aromatics, you'll probably notice a little bit of a lot of key and Oriental. If you smoke a lot of English blends or heavy lot of Kia blends, this will taste rather bland. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's nice flavors there, but I feel like I feel like they're not even utilizing the lot of Kia and the Orientals as condiments. I feel like they just splashed it a little bit. What did they say? A pinch, maybe. I feel like they, they kind of just tossed in a pinch. Supposed to say that they did it. But you know what? It's not a bad blend. Again, if you're on the aromatic side and you want to try and start stair stepping into those Latakia blends, this might not be a bad one for you to pick up. Again, this is Rattray's Black Mallory blend. Comes out of Germany, I believe. Yep, made in Germany. This is the British Collection Black Mallory. Yeah, not a bad blend at all. I, I To me, it's a bit underwhelming on the palate just because if I'm thinking English style, you know, I'm thinking much more a lot of Kia, especially that creaminess that it provides. But you know what? Again, something something, uh, something for, for you to try if you're not much of a English blend smoker or you want to transition to it. So I'd give that, give that one a shot. Uh, I'll smoke this for a while. We'll uh, try to get a review out here pretty soon. Thank you for stopping in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave comments down below. Ask questions. Hashtag ask over a pipe if you want to get on the pleasant Monday smoke. <laughs> I have no idea what I was going to say next. Anyways, we'll see you later.